Okay, mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jetty. It's episode 42 and a half, which means it's recap time. It's come time to go over and recap what's happened this week, what is, well, what has happened this week, what's probably going to happen next week, um, and at the same time, sort of describe what this series is all about. So this series is a modified SpaceX series. Um, therefore, it's, it's something I actually put together when the channel hit 5,000 subscribers, which would be what? two months ago now roughly um and i need to thank you guys i need to thank every single person that has has come and watched this series and also click click the subscribe button because that's what this series is about it's about celebrating you guys the subscribers because you you have no idea how much i appreciate it and how much it actually helps the channel when you just just stop five seconds click the subscribe button if you click the like button you share the video and do all those sorts of things it definitely helps above and beyond that but definitely clicking that subscribe button um, greatly helps the channel and I appreciate it. So as I said, this series is about celebrating you guys. So I decided rather than launching a rocket per person that clicks subscribe and calling it a very, very short series and over and done with because that'd be far too easy. Um, I'd up the ante. I'd actually launch a full SpaceX spaceship for every single subscriber. I just really didn't do the maths beforehand on exactly how many rockets that would be. Um, turns out it's 23 rockets per subscriber. We actually have this little, little wonderful GUI down here, which, um, covers exactly what is involved in launching a sub X spaceship, um, or a space X spaceship, which I've affectionately called a sub X spaceship. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's 20, no, 23 rockets. So, um, I do need to actually thank best of MZ who actually got launched off between episodes, uh, they were, you know, in the queue to be launched. Um, this list actually pulls from our, my subscriber list. So what I've actually done is I've set up um, anybody whose name I can gather via the Google API, which is less than, less than great, to be honest. Um, if I can gather people's names, I am launching them with their name and actually shipping their intergalactic spaceship to them. So, best of MZ, your intergalactic sub X spaceship is definitely in the post. It's definitely being flown by Bob the construction robot and should be delivered to you shortly, depending on current international delivery times. They're not good, but you know, it should get to you eventually. So, what we're actually doing is, like I said, we're launching off a full spaceship per subscriber, which means 23 launches of rockets, each one of them containing some very expensive components, because, you know, what point would a spaceship be if it was made out of cheap stuff? Um, so these range from like 100 portable fusion reactors uh, to hull components. They're actually reasonably cheap, except you need 10 of them. Um, protection fields, which require 100 shields, so on and so forth. So all the components are very, very expensive. Um, leading us up to the final most expensive one being the fast and light drive, which is actually what's slowing down the base currently. This is what's holding up the whole base uh, as it is. These things are not cheap, to put it politely. Um, not cheap at all. And that's what's slowing down the base, as I said. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, we're getting there. We're getting there ever so slowly. So, um, as I said, we, well, let's cover, cover what's happened this week. So, as I said, the fast and light drives are what's holding us up currently. We're actually making those off-site here. And this was one of the first things that happened this week. Um, we went and upgraded all these to uh, productivity smelters um, and also productivity six um, assemblers to crank out a whole lot more green circuits, a whole lot more red circuits, and a whole lot more blue circuits. And as you can see from my build here, um, we're actually held up currently by efficiency modules efficiency modules is what's slowing down the whole build so hopefully they'll get finished off um soon ish and we'll make another uh fast light drive we are making one of these around about every 20 ish minutes roughly um half hour half hour so that's currently what's slowing down the whole base and honestly there's not a lot i can do about it um we've sort of beaconed out the area as much as possible um the only upgrade from here is probably duplicating the whole build which is on the cards because like i said this is currently our most limiting factor um so that was really the start of the week um next thing we did this week is we tried to well the second 
that was like a fairly big project um, in saying that we had a lot of the blueprints already so we could just sort of copy paste down and play you know spaghetti to hook everything back up um, the next really big project for the week was our low density structures so I uh, know rocket control units rocket control units so we had set up previously rocket control units up here uh, mainly because we need them for the rocket and they're actually one of the main components in uh, the SpaceX components so they are very expensive and and require a lot of low density structures to get built so we set that one up off site first our second one we actually set up was our like i said our rocket control units which we did this week which we're actually using compressed recipes so we're bringing in compressed iron and compressed copper we're smelting both those to make compressed green circuits which we're outputting into uh compressed red circuits into compressed blue circuits to make speed modules and blue circuits which then we output into these lovely builds and it is absolutely flat out it's already built it's already buffered all the way up um being that these are compressed recipes they are think of it like like loading a pallet so rather than making one green circuit and putting it in a box we're making a pallet of green circuits and putting it in a box uh or well, making a pallet of green circuits and then putting it on the belt so each of these items are stacked into stacks of 25 but consequently all the assembly machines take 25 times as long to run the same recipe it basically minimizes the amount of belts i have to run um this here this ridiculous little build here would output 29 times 25 uh 29 times 25 725 green circuits per second and even running on my lovely purple belts that's 10 belts worth of green circuits which then i'd have to get from here into their corresponding red circuit build into the speed module build into the blue circuit build it'll be an absolute nightmare um because we're running the compressed recipes i can run one single belt and hell that one single belt could end up being a blue belt uh or even a red belt um as it is we're using green belt because that's what i happen to have on me uh but yeah it, it just simplifies the logistics of getting things around on top of that main reason i actually haven't have it installed is it's lower ups because we have already an episode less than 20 hit a ups limit i'm trying to keep this number as high as possible um as you can see i can currently run the game at sort of like double speed um which means i could double the whole side of the factory size of the factory which still wouldn't be enough just for the record so yeah we're, we're keeping an eye on the ups um trying to make sure it stays as low as possible so that was one of the bills that got done this week um on top of that i actually set up the train with a smart system so if we come back to base i have this lovely little train system here that when we get short of the compressed low density structures or the compressed uh, rocket control units it actually calls in a train from one of their corresponding stations and has it unload uncompressed so basically unload the pallet back into single items and then puts it into the network so the bots can pick it up and take it to wherever it needs to be um so that was the the really big project for this week um d upgrading this was like a semi big project uh the last big project for this week because then yeah, we're sort of at the stage where we're starting to take on two big projects because we can use a lot of the blueprints that we've already invented during this series to to hopefully build things a little bit faster is wow dead by this yeah lasers do wonders uh, the second big thing we've done is we've upgraded this build here this build here was running on steel smelters steel um that is the 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 awesome steel furnaces steel furnaces uh yeah we were running this all still on steel furnaces and we we're outputting green circuits into red circuits into blue circuits to make speed and productivity modules um it ran it did its job it did a wonderful job at what it did but this week we actually upgraded it into uh productivity Ooh, that's gonna come back and haunt me where does that iron go into there how the hell did i get copper on that okay i need to go talk to that belt before it comes back to haunt me Do -do -do. Ah! 
I need the one bit of copper to make it all the way through. There we go. Belt stop working. Uh, turn off legs. There we go. Yeah, it's happened a few times. I don't know how it's happened, but it has happened. So, um, as I said, we we upgraded this to a a much more efficient um, productivity smelting. Um, again, lowered the UPS count. At the same time, we also upgraded our green circuits to a productivity six count. So, one of the things we are running is factory extended, which gives us two extra tiers of every single item. So, you know two extra tiers of substations we have a wire reach of 42 compared to a wire reach of 18 um assemblers are a good one we have a crafting speed of three rather than the the, the standard green yellow whatever you want to call them these ones oh there we go there's another one uh these ones have a crafting speed of 1.25 so you know steel furnace uh, Electric furnaces Mark III have a crafting speed of four, which is twice the crafting speed of our normal electric furnaces. So that sort of stuff. Just upgraded things overall. Um, got a whole bunch more green circuits out to make a whole bunch more red circuits to make a crap ton of blue circuits to bring the whole lot down here to make speed modules and productivity modules. So we're now outputting per minute. Uh, this little build here is doing 36 uh productivity modules and speed modules per minute i think the original build was doing like eh, i want to say like 15 ish ish roughly um so yeah upgraded this one thoroughly and before we go any further let's go thank uh yes i can launch faster we're gonna click log we need to thank oh Albert and Hales L. Allen Dadas. There you go. Uh, thank you, mate. Your uh, sub X spaceship is definitely in the intergalactic shipping, um, intergal intergalactic postal system. It should be with you shortly. If you read the dialogue that was up in the top left, uh, Bob the construction bot is flying it to you. I guarantee he's a fine pilot. I guarantee he never crashed us here in the first place. I guarantee it shall, uh, nothing shall ever go wrong. I just noticed red circuits are not quite making it to the end of the belt up here. Uh, yeah, let's remove that. Uh, let's do one of those. I think I have enough production. Oh, no. Maybe that's better. I should have enough production. Uh, 201. And we're using... 196. Oh, that's tight. Okay. That's probably the problem. We just need to share things out a little bit more evenly. Uh, I think I want to do that. I think. This is going to take some tweaking to get the... the, the the distribution perfect um so yeah we're making a whole lot more modules than we were previously um main reason is one we want to spend modules two again if we go back to the spacex components um we can see a lot of these need uh speed modules and productivity modules and even some efficiency modules thrown in the mix so yeah um all of spacex is very very heavy on blue circuits low density structures and modules themselves so as it um one of the big projects this week as well was to upgrade that module build um and yeah we've gone from a fast and light drive every 60 minutes down to one about every 30 minutes which actually means this week we launched uh rusty pyro nuclear uh qualker canal tigo matios jobo hi uh chelsea uh bastion well, matt woods uh down to earth nine theo kretz 
uh, Dolph, uh, Kevin Sabius, uh, Eagle Andy, Nincy, Best of Me, Albert, and Hales, Alan Dudas. Yep, we launched from 15 through to 28 so far this week. I'm really hoping next week we can even improve these numbers uh, furthermore. Um, what else happened this week? That's pretty much about it. Like, it's 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 been a busy week. Um, we have got a lot done. Um, mainly, we've been working on trying to knock out one big build, like Rocket Control, uh, Low Density Structures at the top, Rocket Control Units in the south. Um, other minor things, like I said, we, we upgraded this build, we upgraded this build. Uh, oh, another minor thing we did is we started, and this is why the bots are going nuts, is, ha-ha! We started making refined concrete because look, I just loved refined concrete um, during the uh, Bite of Hell series. If you haven't seen that, it, I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner. It was a really good series. It was, um, if you took a Death World and said, nah, that's way too easy, mate, and then just cranked it up to like a scale of 11, it's pretty much what Bite of Hell was. Um, yeah, it was, it was intense. Um, I just realized we're probably not making enough bricks now. Yeah. Why aren't we making enough bricks? Uh, actually, because we can't get the bit of bit of blue belt, uh, green belt. There, there, to like technically the other belt's not moving, which probably is the first thing I should look at. Uh, aha! There we go. That fixes that problem. Uh, we upgraded all the belts for the fun of it. Uh, actually, let's clear off that and put that there. And we'll clear off that as well and we'll put that there. Okay, so brick problem sorted. Um, as I said, we started making refined concrete. Refined con concrete is awesome because it gives me a higher run speed. At the same time, because we're using the mini mean miners, um, I've actually gone through the effort of putting down refined concrete anywhere these guys are running around. As you can see, uh, having an extra movement speed of 140% plus the fact that we've done mining, drone speed, whatever the hell that is, uh, which is giving them what? Many, 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 uh, 11 levels of plus 20% walking speed, speed means that these guys run, and they run well. Uh, but yeah, we, we are in the process of putting down um, refined concrete anywhere these guys might be running, um, just to speed them up a little bit. Uh, where's one that's active? Oh, here. Uh, you guys are not exactly running very far. Um, but yeah, we, we're in the process of putting down refined concrete anywhere these guys run around. At the same time, I have a lovely automated uh, train system. This station. Um, this station here, it's a little automated train system, which I, if I go to wherever the hell this train is currently, um, has this lovely combinator that requests out different items that are required. And the moment it is shipping out refined concrete, it just ran out of refined concrete. And we are slowly concreting out each one of the outposts because we're running mini me's on every single one of them. Um, so yeah, we're slowly in the process of putting down refined concrete at every outpost, which means we have a lot of concreting to be done, uh, hence why this build is a little bit large and is going to be putting out refined con concrete probably from now to the end of the game. Um, yeah, that was another thing we managed to get done this week. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Like I said... Busy week, lots of things have happened. Uh, this week coming, this week coming, we do have this giant, massive productivity six build, which is currently putting out two productivity modules per minute, which seems a little bit high, but I will uh, module, we're doing 1.6. 1.6 productivity module, sixes per hour. Um, the plan is to probably do one of two things. Either start mass producing 
uh, speed and productivity modules off-site so we can have a decent amount here in base because if we look up modules currently uh, we have if speed modules get up to 450 we start using them to make spacex components uh if the productivity modules same story if they get up to 500 we start using them to make um them to make uh components as well um so and and our efficiency modules well our efficiency modules are over here and they're just not getting built currently because we're out of green circuits, which is something else we'll be fixing next week. Um, but we did have a thousand in stock and then we started making bigger and better and beacons and then they all disappeared. Um, between that and SpaceX components, yeah, modules don't hang around long. So I think one of the things, we're, well, one of the two major pro projects we want to cover next week is either something similar to this to make speed module level sixes or something similar to this to make productivity speed and efficiency modules to bring them back to base it's an either or or maybe something like this to make uh fast and light drives yeah there'll be many many modules in our not too distant future i think i think that's really what it comes down to anyway with that said i'm going to end the episode here thank you guys so much for watching do hope you're enjoying um as i said if you want to click the subscribe button i very very much appreciate it i am doing my best to get the api to read out people's names like i said it's not 100 percent perfect um in fact i've just spent all of yesterday trying to get the api working a little bit better um to try and pull out names more often uh and more accurately and trying to make the whole update process uh a little bit more clean clean is probably the best way of putting it uh and did not have any success whatsoever uh and then found out the whole issue is with google's uh api itself uh their code doesn't work um but i have another way of doing it which is much more manual but it gets the job done oh uh, on top of that um actually i should cover it very very quickly um we do have as you can see we have technomancer's ghost glass eye marmaduke i don't know why i turn my head to the left when i read these uh Eliander, uh 42 um where's another one uh take me in nl uh hotex pearl hotex page uh Rec Vember. Um, as you can see, we have some very, very interesting train station names. These are actually pulled from mod settings. These are pulled from our, my custom backer names mod, um, which I've updated to version 18. These are actually pulling uh, both subscribers, YouTube members, and Patreon supporters names and actually throwing them down as a train station. So um, I do need to thank those people that have been supporting the channel um, via one of those lovely methods, as well as going through the effort of clicking the subscribe button. I know it's hard. I do ask big things of people. Um, because, yeah, the, the, the support, especially in times like this where, i got to be honest with you, YouTube advertising dollars have just halved. It turns out world crisis are bad for advertisers. Um, I think it's something to do with, like, nobody's allowed to ship anything currently unless it's a vital server, uh, vital vital product or something like that. I don't know. I, I've, had, I've had problems getting stuff shipped out for weeks now. Anyway, um completely sidetracked so i need to really really thank those guys that are supporting the channel um everybody who is supporting the channel uh they're actually getting randomly pulled as train station names i think everybody's got about a one in a hundred chance currently um and i can't duplicate train station names so yeah after we hit 100 i don't know what the what we're gonna do um on top of that uh supporters also get one of these lovely purple components uh for their particular uh, support a spaceship so when we get to launching these which i haven't even started looking at because i don't i can't afford them honestly i can't afford them um so yeah when we get to the stage they actually get their own special 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 sub x spaceship which costs roughly about 10 times as much um well actually two to five times as much um, some of them are really expensive. Some of them are just moderately expensive. Anyway, like I said, I've rambled for long enough. Uh, thank you guys to everybody who's watching the, watching the series. I do hope you guys are enjoying it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's episode where 
we definitely do something important. I don't know what the important thing is that we're going to do. Actually, I do. First thing I'm going to do is work out green circuits because we are upgraded to red circuits. Turns out we decimated our green circuit supply. So that's going to be the very first thing we need to iron out somehow. Anyway, like I said, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.